Good Larry, to see you, man. Good to see you too. I don't know if we've ever done this before. I know it's been a long time. I don't. I if we did, I, it was ages ago. <laughs> ages yeah, ago, for sure. Well, how's the new year going for you so far? So far, so good. Just ready for the weather to break, you know, because I am done with the low light levels and the cold and the wet. Yeah. yeah. There isn't enough vitamin D to get through these winters. No, I doubled up on that stuff two weeks yeah. ago. I did. <laughs> for sure. Oh, man. Well, we've got a lot of interesting things that have come through the store in 2023 so far. Um, a lot of new offerings from some of our favorite brands. These actually were, I guess, around Black Friday releases when these came out a little bit before that. So we're kind of late getting to them, um, but we've had a lot going on here. Yeah, yeah, we have. And um, I, you know, I love it. You know, I remember just looking at this, this great line of pedals. It reminded me of when, when the lads came over, you know, what, eight, nine years ago, we picked up Victory. Yeah. They just walked yeah. in the door, the store, you know, unsolicited. <laughs> and... Um, and made their pitch and we love the amplifiers that have been carrying them ever since. And now like many amplifier manufacturers, they're going into you know, the pedal market and uh, they're legitimate offerings because each of these pedals really do reflect, I think, the amplifiers that have been part of the lineup for a while. Oh, definitely. Uh, the thing that I thought was interesting, I know that I believe these are the V1 series, uh, which really are, you know, pedals, it seems to me they're made for front of the amp. They seem to like the tone stack and what you can do to a preamp. I did, when I first got them back here, I put, put them into the, um, the effects loop inputs just to see what it was like driving the power. And they, they sounded good, but it seems like they really like going through the preamp and the tone stack of these amps. Which is great. I mean, that's really what, you know, these, you know when you think about, you know, when distortion pedals, you know, first came out, that's yeah. what they're designed to do. So, you know, I think it's very cool that they're, they're making no pretense to create a preamp, you know, just accentuating what you already have. You, that, yeah, it, it makes good sense. And th I know that when I tried a few of the V4 pedals out that had the, they actually had the tubes in mm -hmm. them and were like a, a complete all enclosed uh, preamp. And I, well, I mean, we had at least a couple that had power amps in them too, mm -hmm. class yeah. D power amps. The thing that I thought was kind of interesting, and I think in this day of, of modeling where everybody's trying to match some ethereal sound from the past or something, that all of these amps and these pedals that have the same name, they, they do not sound identical. No. And I think it's very cool, but the character is there. Yeah. And the ability to take this many different amp characters and just, you know, put it through your amp, I think is just so cool. Yeah. You know, rather than claiming this is a, you know, this is a model of this, you'll never tell the difference. You know, I'm, I'm kind of past all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for, you know, this, for myself, or a lot, there's a lot of players out there, it's like, well, if you have a great amplifier, why do you need any pedals? You know, and this is, this is really the answer to that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a great amplifier, you're still going to get something from each of these pedals because they have a sonic signature that is unique and reflective of what they, are, what you know, what the what the guys at Victory are doing. Why don't we just run through? I know this is the first time I think both of us have played through the entire collection of them. Um, you want to start off with the Duchess over here? I know that's what I've got the camera trained on right now. Um, Absolutely. Once you dial it in, just tell, tell us what you think about it as you're going through it. Yeah, you know, I, I like to see what, you know, everything is at 12 o'clock because I just want to hear, you know, what I figure is the sweet spot. You know, you can always accentuate. Um, you know, first thing I did is with my Custom 24, I've got the McCarty switching, so I... Just to get, okay, there's a humbucker in the bridge position, you know. Yeah. All right, so I was kind of really like, okay, I get that. That's a very familiar sounding territory to me. But now when I go to the uh, single coil or coil tapped neck position, uh, like we did in the intro. You know, that to me is like, all right, that's warm, you know, 
Uh, it's a really well balanced tone. It's getting, it's not sounding muddy. Yeah. But it is definitely, you know, darker than what I would typically dial in if I was going single coil, you know, uh, neck. Yeah, it's got this really woolly tone. And it's really responsive to, you know, the dynamics of your playing. Yeah, I can feel that sag, you know. Yeah. That compression. Well, that kind of sensitivity, that's rare to find in a pedal, I think. And it, when you were playing through that, I think it's worth noting that these are not like yeah, modeling pedals. We're not using DSP. It's all just analog, solid state, you know, probably FETs and mm -hmm. old school electronics. Mm -hmm. And that is so different than what I'm used to hearing in an overdrive pedal. Yeah. The character that you got between the bridge and the neck and like you say, the warmth and the, the clarity still mm -hmm. there. It's really incredible. I mean, should probably say all of these pedals, you know, the, the list price on them is $249. So it, this is a lot of variety of amplifiers you can get through for a little bit of money. Um, I want to hear that Strat through the Kraken, because you're so yes. hot on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will get, definitely, <laughs> we will get to that one. Um, I'm going to move, kind of go down the line gotcha. here. I'm jumping the gun. Uh, so since... We don't have a cameraman. I've got that, <laughs> got that set up kind of on these over here. Um, I'm going to move over, turn off the sheriff that I was using in that intro into the copper. Have you ever owned a Vox amp? No. I haven't either. Um, and I know when I got to play the ones that we had in the store, a very different sound than what I associated with them, even though I knew that... That's what Brian May was using. I didn't realize the tone and the amount of saturation you could get out of those amplifiers with no pedals, no anything else. It kind of blew my mind why I had overlooked that for so long. Uh, that the copper is their take um, on the AC15, AC30 type of circuit. And in me, I'm going to show you just first of all, I've got uh, just like Ed's amp, the Fillmore 50 up there, I've got a California tweed down here where I've got pretty much presence, all the tone knobs at 12 o'clock, starting out the same on here. And we've got this. Very nice strat tone through that, the copper. I mean, just some... And again, you know, you got that edge of breakup that you can actually play into. Mm. I'm just not used to seeing that in a pedal. Um, one thing that I did notice, I mean, I'm just going to, to dime the gain on this momentarily. <laughs> A bit loud, but top end on this, I mean, that's not quite as much gain as you can get out of a real AC30, hmm. which kind of surprised me. And I know when I was playing around with it earlier, these things take pedals real well, you know, beforehand. They respond the way you would think an amplifier should. And I think in the case of some of these, they may have actually limited the gain a little bit just so you can push the preamp a little bit more if you want to use these as a boost in addition to an overdrive. Right on. This. And a little bit of the neck on. That's just got yeah. a lot to it there. Yes. A another, you know, killer, killer pedal there. Uh, I'm going to let you switch over to the jack. I'm going to move the camera just a bit up here. So this is Guthrie's amplifier, basically, right? It was originally the Countess. Right. And then I know they got with Guthrie again and made some more tweaks to it, and it returned as the jack. Yeah, I was digging this one right away.
Tasteful, man. I just love that. That is gorgeous. <laughs> My gosh. That is just a sweet distortion. Yeah, yeah. incredible. Yeah, uh, really, really. Yeah, happy that's kind of that. that's kind of my tone that I'm always after right there. And again, you had the, you got the gain dialed all the way up on here. Mm-hmm. Let's put it in half. Let's it's uh, yeah. Let, let's hear what what it sounds like, yeah. kind of mid position there. <laughs> So the tunnel characteristic is still there, yeah. but definitely a, I'll tell a you what, more fun there. Just to try something for with the gain back in the middle, mm -hmm. crank the volume up and just hit the front of that amp. Or I want to see what it does when you do that. Wow, brightness is like, holy cow. It's almost like another pedal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is nice. Wow. Yeah, these these are just pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was the Jack. Let's move over to the Sheriff. And th this is another one I know a little bit about the origin of. This was kind of their take on uh, the Sheriff amplifier was uh, based on a plexi is the circuitry in it. And I know I read that on this pedal they wanted to be able to incorporate into the JCM 800 kind of tones and mm -hmm. go a little bit more modern with the plexi. So just at the middle position on this, we're starting at a good spot. Yep, that <laughs> feels like it needs a little bit more. I'm, it's one of those sounds where you're almost there and you start pushing the guitar too hard and you just can't quite get there. Let's go ahead and match the gain out on that and see what we get. There. Interesting, it's got that thump on the attack on the mm -hmm. low end, like you hear I was, out of those early Marshalls. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, what I was thinking, that was precise, just when you said that, because I was just thinking like, all right, I still hear that bright attack, mm -hmm. the typical of a Strat and the bridge position, but it's not the ice pick to the forehead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna just try. That's another, you know, great tone there. Yeah. Got the character of it. All right. I'm Love gonna the stuff. Re, I'm going to readjust the camera right. to get a shot of this cracking because just me personally, this is the one that kind of blew me away uh, because it was so, so different from what I remembered about the amplifier. You ready? I'm ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
Was it the that was mid like, point of the game? Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a little more gas. Just a really complex sound. I'm just sitting there listening to it, and I mean, it's got everything that that thump and the lows. It's got the brightness right where you want it, but no fizz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is just an incredible sound. Uh, th the pedal blows me away. But I want you to give this a try, okay. if you would. Swap out with me, because I thought this was such a gorgeous matchup for a Strat. Let's see, let's put the gain up where we're at. There you go. Right, that's the bridge. Let's go to position two. It's a very familiar sound, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Yes. All right. Here's three. That's gnarly. Man. Yeah, and four. <laughs> All right, let's go with the neck. Back up the game for that neck thing. Yeah. That's yeah. got the delivering the goods right there. Yeah, that <laughs> that was that tone that I was talking. I mean, it's such a perfect high gain match for a single coil guitar. Mm -hmm. It just blows me away. Very fun to yeah. play. Well, man, it has been great doing this video with you. So thank much you. Fun. You're playing awesome as oh, always. Thank you. Uh, Still trying. <laughs> yeah, heart <laughs> will. Yeah, I think you're succeeding more than more than most. Um, just a great line of pedals here. We're so glad to have this victory line in the shop and give Ed a call if you got any questions about it or call Rob or call Corey or call any of the fine salespeople here because they are the experts in every brand we sell and it is their mission to match you up with the perfect piece of gear, exactly what you're looking for. That's what they'll do. Ed, thank you so much. Man. Thank you, my friend. All righty. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.